Well, it's a new era at the Hidalgo County Courthouse. We sat down for an exclusive interview with Hidalgo County DA-elect Ricardo Rodriguez to find out his plans to fight corruption and to give life to old forgotten cases. Ricardo Rodriguez says his first order of business is to do a complete audit of the Hidalgo County District Attorney's Office. After more than 32 years under one leader, he says it's long overdue. We want to make sure that, uh, that we gain the trust back from the people to the DA's office. Rodriguez was elected to the DA's office after a bitter battle with incumbent Rene Guetta during the Democratic primaries. Guetta recently under fire for not prosecuting cases like Nora Longoria's DUI case and the murder of Edinburgh beauty queen Irene Garza. Now Rodriguez says the days of selective prosecution are over. My message was always we're not going to have selective prosecution. We're going to treat every case fairly and the same across the board. Rodriguez is also considering new challenges facing the county like eight liners. Now that the city of La Jolla recently passed an ordinance to permit gaming machines. I agree that, you know, with these um, um, eight liners, you know, we could bring more crime to the county. At the end of the day, if, if they're not following the law and the law has been broken, then we'll you know, proceed with prosecution. Another top priority on his list, fighting corruption. Rodriguez says he plans on creating a public integrity task force. And I've talked to the sheriff about that and we're talking uh, to see if maybe we can, you know, partner up and and it'd be a collaborative effort. He believes a few bad eggs have given the county a bad rep, but says his main focus is restoring trust. And that means prosecuting those who break the law, no matter what. I also asked Ricardo Rodriguez about his transition to the DA's office. He tells me that Rene Guetta hasn't really been much help, but he does believe it'll go smoothly. Reporting in the Hidalgo County Newsroom, Nadia Galindo, Action 4 News.